Welcome back, Cardinals, to another season of Cardinal Sports. I'm Jake Schackinger. And I'm Juliana Scalamandri. For those of you who don't know what Cardinal Sports is, it's a show here on PSTV that will follow all things Cardinal athletics. Let's take a look at how the Cardinal teams are doing. The men's soccer team is not only coming in the season with a young roster, they're also coming in with a brand new head coach in Chris Taylor. This is Taylor's first year as the head coach of the Plattsburgh State team. He was an assistant coach for them in 2011 and 2012. In between his Plattsburgh stints, he jumped around to a variety of New York collegiate teams, including Clarkson and Vassar. The men started off their season at home, where they were just beaten by William Patterson 2-1, the lone Cardinal goal being scored on penalty kick by senior Taka Fushima. Later, the same day, they lost by the same score to Springfield. Junior Jimmy Marchena was the lone tally for the Cards in that game. The Cards finally got their first win of the season and Coach Taylor his first as head coach with their away game at Sage College. They won this contest 1-0. The goal scored by senior Chris Robertson off of a cross from Jimmy Marchena. The Cards then went on a cold streak, losing to UMass Boston, then tying St. Lawrence and Skidmore in two scoreless matches. The Cards would then stop the bleeding with the game against Coach Taylor's old team, the Knights of Clarkson. Plattsburgh State won the game with two goals to Clarkson zero. Both Fukushima and Robertson would net, three, would net their second goal of the season in this match. The Cards next play at home on Friday the 21st versus Brockport. Women's soccer made it all the way to the SUNYAC finals last season, and despite having a young team, will be looking to make it back there at the end of the fall. So far this season, the Cards have had an almost perfect record. They have won every game except one, where the Cards were shut out by Middlebury on September 12th, and remain undefeated in conference play. The standouts on the team so far are junior Katie Matat, who has three goals on the season, freshman Allison Seidman, who recorded a goal and two assists in the first game of the season, and freshman Kirsten Villamare, who is tied for the lead in goals on the cards with three. Villamare received SUNYAC Athlete of the Week for women's soccer, along with graduate student goalkeeper Taylor Adams, who has recorded three shutouts already this year. Come see the Cards play at home next Thursday, September 25th, versus St. Lawrence at the Plattsburgh State Fieldhouse at 7 p.m. The tennis team is returning six student athletes from last year. Among them are Kelsey Henn, Sierra Barrett, Nadine Charduli, and Erin Wiggins. There are seven new faces on the team, including Megan Blake and Emily Griffin. The Cardinals started the season off strong with an 8-1 match count win, beating Farmingdale State. They followed that up with a 6-3 win over St. Joseph's College. The Cardinals then had a series of 9-0 games, two going in their favor and one going against. The Cards swept Castleton on September 5th, then got swept on the 8th. One day later, they won every single match against Linden, continuing the string of this back-and-forth season. The Cards suffered an 8-1 loss against St. Michael's, then swept Utica, 9-0. Four days later, the doubles team of Wiggins and Charduli received the Sunyak Doubles Team of the Week, the week of September 2nd. Last year, the doubles team of Sierra Barrett and Kelsey Henn won this award. We caught up with Sierra, who talked to us about the ins and outs of being a student athlete on the tennis team. I think it takes a lot of work and um, organization for sure, but um, as far as like managing time, um, you really have to dedicate yourself to your studies before and after practice, um, and then give yourself like the needed breaks um, that you have to take every day or whenever. Um, but really like focusing on what to do and when to do it um, is important as far as like schoolwork, um, time for practice, just really prioritizing your time I would say is the biggest part of being a student athlete. At school I would say between like my coaches and my team are my biggest supporters. Um, just always wanting and like pushing you to do your best and be your best self and that's like really important to me. So. At home definitely my parents and my sister. Um, it's nice, we live local, so they get to come to every home match. Um, they travel normally to Binghamton for our end of the season matches. Um, my dad's always been very hard, like pushing us to do as well as we can, um, practicing all throughout the years of high school and middle school. Um, so uh, definitely a very positive role, um, just always wanting to, to do better and practice to get what you deserve. Um, actually, Coach Curl um, came to my last high school match um, when I won the championship, so she got to talk to me a little bit then about it and um, recruited me kind of right after my high school season ended, so that was nice to have that support coming into school. Being doubles team of the, of the week um, last season, um, that was probably one of my proudest achievements of last season just because I feel like we worked hard 
um, my partner Kelsey Han and I to um, get wins throughout the season like consecutively in order to get that accomplishment. Um, so yeah. Let's head indoors and check on the Plattsburgh State volleyball team. They come into the season with a very young team, having only three juniors and no seniors. Even with the youth of the team, they are still looking to make an impact on the season. During the first tournament, the Best Western Cardinal Classic, the Cards won three out of four matches. After the tournament, they have yet to win again, taking losses in seven consecutive matches, matches excuse me, to Swarthmore, Stevens, Mount St. Vincent, Union, Wentworth, Skidmore, and Wells. We'll see if the Cards can get back to their winning when they play Brockport tomorrow, September 21st. Stick around, because after the break, we're going to take a look at one of the least known teams and sports on campus. We'll check out how the men's and women's cross-country teams are doing after the break. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming to the TV. Let's put on PSTV. They have good programs, such as card sports. Go cards! And table talk. How feel in the news? All the Vermont State Police. And talk nerdy to me. Now that's student-made, professional-grade TV. Just keep swimming. Committed to helping students pursuing careers in journalism and communication-related fields. These are just a few media professionals that we aspire to. We strive to embody the history of the National Association of Black Journalists. of After Hours here on PSTV. And welcome to another installment of Talk Nerdy to Me. You look excited. Yeah. <laughs> I'm freezing. I'm Lauren Weiss. And I'm Kyle Bryant. Let's take a look at today's top stories. Two minutes of the finest in news that you need to know about. And now it's time for a PSTV News special report. Gorman scores! With two seconds left! If you drive buzzed, it could cost you around $10,000. You'll face major legal fees, major fines, and steep insurance penalties. You could lose everything. Buzzed, busted, and broke. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. Cross country is one of the least known sports here on campus, but we wanted to give you guys an update on how their season is going. Let's check it out. So we had the season opener. We hosted uh, Clark, or Norwich and Potsdam and we had ran 5Ks on both sides and had a good, just easy introduction to the season. And then the next weekend we had the Cardinal Classic, had a few more teams, um, the men ran a 6K, so we had a nice progression up in distance before they go tomorrow to St. Lawrence and run their 8K. And uh, the women ran the 5K again, so they were able to see just improvement uh, from one week and, and do things maybe a little bit differently than they did the previous weekend. So one thing was definitely the progression of our races uh, and moving up from a 3K time trial up to 5K, then 6K. Uh, the women, on the other hand, didn't have as much of a progression, but the 5, 5K to 6K isn't as big of a jump as, as mm -hmm. it is to the 8K. Uh, we had a little bit more volume in our workouts and um, 
we're going to meet today uh, and talk about the course and kind of the strategy going forward with tomorrow's race. I felt great. Uh, he ran really well in our time trial, so I can't complain with that. Um, and just came in and you know, summer training is so important for someone that he was coming off an ankle injury last summer. He wasn't able to get as much training in. So with a full full summer uh, training under his belt, came in, he's ready to go. So he didn't feel that great at the Cardinal Classic and hoping that tomorrow at St. Lawrence he'll be able to, to go after, uh, you know, towards the top. I think it just allows us to get some good quality training in and we get to focus and emphasize the race a little bit more when, when we have that. Mm -hmm. So um, this weekend at St. Lawrence will be, will be a, certainly a challenge and, and hopefully the following weekend at RPI we know we'll be just as good to meet with even more competitive teams and we'll be, uh, you know, we'll make adjustments from this week to next week. And, we're definitely prepping to race stronger next week um, and then have a week off, then go down to Con College and, and race on course. So we've had a lot of people run on with it from our team and then week off, go to into Suniac. So bigger emphasis on, on the races we do have as well as the training we're doing in between. We are working more in a, a pack strategy this this year so far and I think that's made it easier in race time and really carries over from from workouts into the races so um, I think on the men's side we are very very strong um, for you know 10 11 12 runners and then we have on the women's side a couple newcomers that are finding their place and, and doing very well uh, I think top five is a goal for both teams. Uh, we know that we lost some strength from last year, but at the same time feel that this, that there are certainly some teams that we can beat and um, we're just working to get better and working to get ready for those races. Up next, we bring back a fan favorite. Stay tuned after the break for Totally Teammates. Tune in to WQKE at 93.9 .9 FM, groundbreaking college radio. Gary, we are GetSchooled.com. You want a college education, don't you? You know you do. That's why we're here. We're free and here to guide you through every step of the way, starting with attendance. <laughs> Gary, financial aid forms. Picking a college, man. You and us we go together like tacos and Tuesday. And I love tacos. Go to GetSchooled.com.
It's a short ride from your neighborhood to your naturehood. To find a neighborhood park or green space near you, visit discovertheforest.org. Hey Cardinals, it's time for an oldie but a goodie. This is Totally Teammates. What's up everybody? I'm Annie Campbell and I run cross country for Plattsburgh State. I'm Christine Wotrowski and I also run cross country. And, and we're, we're Totally teammates. teammates. I will be describing first. Uh, <laughs> okay, so this is when two people are like neck and neck right at the end of a race, race. and it's called a tie. Yeah, but like they have to like photo finish. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, this is um one of the ones I hate the most events because it like you rely on other people. Like relay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um this is when you scored 3 goals in hockey. <laughs> Come on, Christina. All right, this is the type of pitch in baseball when the ball Fast kind of goes out of slant. Uh, curveball. Yes. <laughs> um, in gymnastics, if you are doing tricks on one of these, it's so slightly feet. slanted. Um, uh, uh, it's, uneven bars? Yes. Opposite of that, a, a straight one. Straight bars? <laughs> <laughs> like, if it's Wait, like, parallel bars. Yeah. If a, oh my god, <laughs> we're so bad at this. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Basketball. Shoot. Grant. <laughs> Rabbit? Bunny? Bunny hop. Bunny. Shoot. Bunny. Bunny dribble. What? <laughs> Bunny top. Bunny basket, bunny basketball. <laughs> what? Bas basketball bunny. Face jam. What? You've never I've seen never that. Seen Did you know it? I've never seen face jam. Well, me either. But like, I know what it is. I, I would never guess bunny. It's a bug bunny playing <laughs> basketball. Okay. <laughs> two weeks to see if anyone can beat us. PSTV's on. <laughs> PSTV. It do the things and stuff. There's shows on it that you can watch. <laughs> There's one thing you can never have sex without. It's not something you buy. Or something you take. In fact, there's only one way to get it. It has to be given to you, freely. It's consent. 
Because sex without it isn't sex. It's rape. Consent. If you don't get it, you don't get it. It's on us to stop sexual assault. Learn how and take the pledge at itsonus.org. PSTV is a student-run uh, television network. Um, it, you know, students are seen as the underdog when it comes to television, so I think people should watch it just to shoot that, 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 just so people can see how well we do television. You know, I think it's great. Are you gonna let me let me say it this time? Nope. PSTV will never cut you off. Plattsburgh Hoop Troop is a recreational club where you can either come to learn how to hoop, you can come for hoop fitness, or you can just come to hang out with your friends if you already know how to hula hoop. Um, it was something I started as a sophomore because I love to hula hoop. Our open flow sessions take place from Friday 2 to 3 and Tuesday 6.30 to 8. Watch PSTV on channel 10.1 or Charter 194. Before we wrap the show up, let's take a look at some upcoming home games for the Cardinals. Looking ahead for tennis, we have two home games in the next two days. The Cards play at the tennis courts behind Memorial Hall on Friday at 3 p.m. against Oswego and Saturday at 11 a.m. versus SUNY Cortland. The women's soccer team plays on Tuesday, September 25th at 7 p.m. against St. Lawrence. Then they play Potsdam on Saturday, September 29th at 1 p.m. Both games happen at the Plattsburgh State Fieldhouse. The men's soccer team plays Friday, September 21st at 4 p.m. against Brockport, and they play Geneseo the next day at 1 p.m. at the Fieldhouse. The volleyball team doesn't play until October 12th against St. Lawrence at 8 p.m. in the Memorial Hall Gymnasium. They play two games in the same place the next day, one against WPI at 12 p.m. and one versus Gordon College at 2.30. For more information on the Cardinal teams, go to GoCardinalSports.com. Tune in next time for more Cardinal sports action. Thanks for watching, Plattsburgh.